This next tactic is uh, referred to as deflection, and it's similar to removing the guard. It's similar to attraction. Um, removing the guard usually entails, you know, a, a real crash, you know, crash and grab kind of a thing where you're, you know, not, uh, capturing a piece immediately. Uh, but here, okay, again, we evaluate the position. As I mentioned before, you look at all possible captures and checks and sacrifices, uh, pieces that are attacked and how many times. And you notice, so uh, we've got some black pieces here hovering over the white, the white king, and uh, this. And you look at the the pieces and how they're guarding squares that the king could possibly run to. And you see that the knight is guarding this square. The king can't run to this square if it were to be put into check, for example. And this pawn is here. The king can't run here. The bishop is blocking the, this square. So the king is quite compromised. And now you look at, you know, allow yourself to look at sacrificial. Uh, moves, you know, but you're looking for uh, sacrifices which uh, check or attack the, the, the queen or, or other pieces, undefended pieces. So you see that um, if the knight captured this pawn, that would be check, and it would actually be checkmate uh, because the king would be in check, but he can't run here because of the knight, as I mentioned a moment ago. But the only problem is this rook. You know, it's guarding that square, so it would not be checkmate. So if we could somehow pull the rook away with force, and that's another key idea, um, your moves have to be, in order for you to control your opponent, your moves have to force him to to do what you want him to do. Otherwise, he has a move that he can make, and maybe a counterattack and turn the tables on you immediately. So with that in mind, um, we try to see if we can re remove this rook. So black can actually uh, attack the rook. And it's really cool because, um, you know, if the rook captures the rook, then that allows the knight to checkmate the king with this capture. So, for example, if he takes here, check, checkmate, because the king has no escape squares. And again, this square is guarded by this knight. But let's say white sees this and doesn't capture the rook, but instead moves another piece. Let's say he moves the, the knight. Well, the problem is now this rook uh, is pinned. Um, so it, the knight could be free to capture the pawn, and again the rook now would not be able to capture the knight, and that would be checkmate because the king again has no escape square. So game over for for white. Now proceed to tactic number eleven called trapping. <laughs> 